Hello everyone, and we got good and mysterious news today. Let's start off with some XRP news. They have a groundbreaking partnership, and this time it does not involve Ripple. So efforts outside of Ripple, not a security. So uh, it is actually um, a partnership between the XRPL community and GateHub, and that is the largest XRPL gateway provider, kind of an on-ramp type of thing, and XRP Lab. So basically Wheatswind and GateHub. So the Alliance aims to enhance the XRPL ecosystem by introducing more assets, so more interoperability, thereby facilitating effortless value transfer between XRPL and other prominent networks, including SEPA, that's Europe, SWIFT, Bitcoin, and Ethereum. I think Bitcoin and Ethereum are going to be the main focus. So a lot of transfers between XRP, XRP ecosystem, Bitcoin, and Ethereum, thereby providing it more liquidity. So the key highlights of the collaboration. Um, it's going to provide new features and boost the XRPL ecosystem by offering users across the globe new capabilities and conveniences. This is from Crypto Globe, and it's paving the way for broader retail adoption of cryptocurrency payments. Obviously, GitHub does have an on-ramp, off-ramp. Um, maybe they'll incorporate that into the XRPL DEX. Maybe they'll finally get DeFi going along with hooks. We don't really know what's going on uh, completely, but it'll introduce a lot more new capabilities. There's going to be seamless fund transfers, and this has been received with enthusiasm, uh, and it's going to be easy to bring sh Shoom users actually in. They will now be able to effortly, effortlessly transfer funds to and from their XRPL accounts directly through the Shoom app. Furthermore, any future asset, assets that GitHub introduces will also benefit from this on-off ramp adding even more value to the XRPL ecosystem in the forthcoming years. So that's really, really cool. The partnership aims to promote the adoption of XRP and other digital assets within the DeFi ecosystem. It also seeks to enhance interoperability across blockchains. Being able to interoperate and transfer back and forth is going to be very, very big in the future. And the on-ramp, off-ramp is very exciting directly from XRPL and maybe other XRPL-based coins, which would get other developers to actually develop on XRPL, which is what you really need these days to really build a, a really great ecosystem. So this is really, really good for XRP. Wheats is obviously really uh, excited about this. Uh, he voices optimism about this new initiative. He believes that the combined strengths of GitHub and Shoom will significantly reduce the current challenges by streamlining the on-ramp, off-ramp process. So a lot more investment opportunities makes a lot more uh, people, uh, makes it easier for a lot of people to invest in not just XRP, but the XRPL ecosystem, which could actually be more important than XRP itself in the future for price increases. And of course, it's going to bring euros, USD, and GBP into the picture, as well as BTC, LTC, BCH, Ethereum, ETC, Songbird, Flare, USDC, Wrapped XRP, Gala, and Dash. So it could be good for those coins as well. But obviously, it just makes XRP a much more convenient on-ramp, off-ramp for people. And it will also make it much, much easier and more palatable for people to actually invest in the XRP ecosystem. This is the kind of partnership that kind of goes under the radar at times, but it could also be the kind of partnership that really matters in the long run. Because you hear about all these like banking partnerships and you know SWIFT and BIS and IMF and all these rumors and stuff, nothing ever really comes about them. But... The one thing that XRP really hasn't done is actually spruce up the ecosystem or really develop the ecosystem because the people at Ripple are more interested in an industrial utility of like, you know, ODL. But despite Brad Garlinghouse saying ODL increasing like, you know, something like 130%, 200% quarter over quarter for the last three years, you really haven't seen movement in price. And if you guys remember in the last bull run, what moved price? It was DeFi, it was ecosystems. And XRP's ecosystem is finally getting a boost out of this. So in the next bull run, stuff like this could actually be a lot more important for your investment than any of those like banking partnerships could ever be. Now, I don't really know if Hooks is going to come out by then. I hope it does, because if it does, then that can get really XRP on the DeFi train finally. Because, you know, despite the fact that XRP has one of the oldest DEXs, that's not really DeFi. There's like no yield farming and no ways to generate passive income. So XRP is way behind other ecosystems in that regard. And this could definitely kickstart it a lot. Uh, the the, uh, the on-ramps from GitHub are definitely key to this. And just having some fiat on-ramps... Um, 
and more developers developing for the XRP ecosystem because of these improvements will actually increase your prospects a lot for XRP holders in the next bull run. So very cool partnership could be more impactful on XRP price in the next bull run than any of those other like partnerships because that world domination stuff is just like hype. That's never really going to happen. This is actual like pay dirt that could possibly massively increase the price in the next bull run. The other thing is there's a mysterious Bitcoin wallet that's become the third largest BTC holder in three months. I know a lot of people are talking about this. I think this uh, wallet only became active in March, but it's only since May that it's actually become the third largest Bitcoin wallet. And we don't know who the owner is. So according to data from crypto statistics and bit info charts, uh, the wallet first received Bitcoin on March 8th, but over the next over the course of the next three months and two weeks, the wallet had accrued a staggering 118,000 BTC worth 3.08 billion at current prices. Only MicroStrategy actually has more. The rapid and, and MicroStrategy might not all be in one wallet. Some users suggest it's most likely a crypto exchange moving funds. I think some people are afraid that it's Binance getting uh, storing to liquidate. I don't really think so. They've been accumulating BTC, but there's also a lot of speculation. It could actually be BlackRock or Fidelity. Remember, uh, crypt, uh, these big funds and banks are going to be allowed to hold crypto as their reserve starting in 2025, only one or 2%. But this could actually be them getting a jump on it because no one really knows. I don't know if it really is. It could be another big whale or an early uh, adopter of Bitcoin. It's very, very hard to tell, but I think like the most likely, uh, most likely thing is it is an exchange, possibly Binance, possibly Kraken or one of the others. Although like most of those accounts are actually docs and this is not one of those accounts. It could be a new fund manager or a big company coming in, Fidelity, BlackRock, uh, you know, Vanguard, one of those multi-billion dollar companies, or it could be like some other big um, buyer like Michael Saylor, although there's a limited amount of people with that many funds. I actually kind of think it's like Fidelity or BlackRock <clears throat> or one of the big fund managers. And the thing is like, even though they can't hold it for their reserve until 2025, maybe some of like the big uh, top guys on there just made like some kind of investment or something. That could definitely be the case because I don't think those guys really want to wait until... Um, 2025 to actually get in. They probably want to get in before. And right now, like the price of Bitcoin is going down. So right now, like would actually be a pretty good time to get in for those guys. So there's a lot of speculation. And you know, like 100,000 BTC or more, there's a very, very limited amount of people that can actually afford that much uh, Bitcoin. And a lot of it is, uh, a lot of people are saying it's pointing to BlackRock, although there's no evidence. But I think it's just as likely to be Fidelity um, and other big fund managers. Because, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the theories are like surrounding who's evil and stuff and finance is based around BlackRock. But the thing is like Fidelity and other big fund managers, they also own trillions of dollars and they're nearly as big in terms of like assets held. So don't count them out. Don't just pour it all on BlackRock. It could be one of several large fund managers. But if it is a fund manager, it is exciting because that means they are buying substantial amounts of Bitcoin that they want to invest in it. So Bitcoin is definitely not going anywhere and eventually it will actually go up. And last of all, but not least of all, we have to talk a little bit about the Shibirium relaunch. Um, the whole Shibirium thing is a huge, huge mess, but the burn for Shiba is like soaring. So the price will actually decrease. So Shiba Inu's daily burn rate skyrocketed 1,044% amid the news of Shibirium developers making the Layer 2 scaling solution available to the public in the next coming days. So there's going to be a Layer 2 from Shiba Inu. I'm not really sure how excited I'm about this. I'm not really sure if I'm going to take this seriously. But of course, the Shib Inu, uh, Shib Army took the news as an impulse to send over 1 billion of Shiba Inu tokens to the bottomless pit in 24 transactions in the last 24 hours. So they basically burned 1 billion transactions at 1 billion Shiba in 24 transactions. Not exactly sure how much that is. I think it's like probably $10,000. Oh, it's only $8,000 burned. So it's really not that much. So of course, um, the lead developer, Shaitoshi Kusama, shared the fourth scaling update in regards to the Shibirium Layer 2 blockchain to tackle high traffic issues because Shibirium did actually get jammed. Uh, Shibirium's mainnet will have an auto monitoring system as well as additional fail safes, including rate limiting at the RPC level and auto server reset. So 
that's going to be pretty exciting for Shibirium. And of course, uh, I think that will probably draw, drive up Shiba Inu's price kind of like in the long run. I don't like right now, I don't think it's actually going up that much. But overall, like I think Shibirium on the FOMO should drive up the price. Although it doesn't really use Shiba Inu for gas, it actually uses bone for gas. But there's going to be a lot of chat and discussion about it. So it should actually go up in price. I think the most exciting uh, news today is actually the XRP partnership. Now, the XRP army, I'm not really sure like if they've actually heard about it because this is one of those like giant banking partnerships that never really goes anywhere. It's an actual like uh, utility DeFi type of partnership that could actually pay off dividends very, very soon or in the next bull run. And I think they should actually kind of get the picture by now after five years that like these kind of things are the things that actually matter in the next bull run. Not so much like the gigantic like banking partnerships that supposedly come to fruition because the banks aren't waiting for the next crypto bull run to turn on. And if they haven't really turned on, they're really not going to turn on at any time. You could say the adoption has been slowed in the United States for the last three years. You can't claim that internationally where the SEC really has no relevance. And those banks aren't adopting crypto either. But everyone in crypto is adopting DeFi. You get that DTVL up and your coin will actually go up in price. They have to get like DeFi and um, smart contracts first. But these enhancements to possible XRP, like true possible XRP DeFi, should actually be exciting to any XRP holder. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.